Yes, welcome to Bikes of Rye. Me, my GF, and my Tenere, we're going for a little spin. I'm gonna bring you guys with us, so let's jump aboard. Start the bike. Engine is actually still warming up. Uh, I've only just come around the corner. And this is the first time I'm taking somebody on the back of the Tenere and also bringing my girlfriend on it as well. So, <laughs> exciting times. Let's see how we get on. So first of all, I have to say that I'm finding it a little bit of a challenge to make it smooth from the coal on the back because of the nature of the engine it's so there's so much engine braking I can feel it bouncing off me she's uh, sliding back and forth on the seat so I just need to kind of adjust my riding style of course the bike still easily wants to lean over and weight wise I don't even feel like she's actually on the back of the bike. Well, I need to get some fuelage. What do you reckon? Quite smooth. Reckon it's quite smooth? Yeah. Feels quite stable, doesn't it? Yeah. I'll put £10 in. £10 won't get me very much, will it? 10 pound, one P. Almost five litres. Here she comes. <laughs> All right, biker chick. All good? Climb aboard, mate. If you're new to my channel and this is the first video you have seen of me with my Tenere you should know that I have had a full Black Widow system installed so that means I've removed the catalytic converter I've got straight through pipe so headers plus a 300mm uh, slip on and you might have seen that I've got the engine management light on at the same time so that is a result of fitting the exhaust system so the bike obviously realises something's not quite right and it's flagged up an issue. Now the bike feels totally fine to ride, I've noticed no real difference since installing the exhaust uh, but I actually have the bike booked in to have it all set up for the exhaust system. Surprising enough that even with two up, this bike it leans over so beautiful. <laughs> it's lovely. It just surprises me every time I throw something new at it. It's a real sort of versatile bike. Now I'm carrying someone on the back, it's just lapping up. No bother whatsoever. With Nicole on the back, the suspension's gone that bit more softer, more supple but it's soaking up the bumps and it's going through the bends and giving me so much confidence this is the only time I really noticed the cold on the back is under the braking I mean obviously you can get some handles for her to hold on to but yeah we're still going the right way considering I haven't even set up suspension for both of our weight I mean I'd love to know how it feels once you start loading it up with luggage maybe the suspension will become far too soft because right now I feel like if I'm honest I feel like the suspension is almost perfect for both of our weight give it a bit of a blast out of this corner this engine it's just beautiful just chugs along like I'm in fifth gear here lovely and we're going uphill 
sound of it as well. It's just wonderful. And then it leans over like it's a sports bike. <laughs> God. And on these kind of roads, it's, you know, this is what it's designed for. Yeah? Tight bends, narrow roads, a bit of gravel here and there. <laughs> and of course, not to mention, it's very capable of going off-road as well. So we just parked up here in this industrial estate. We were at Dunstable Downs having a nice coffee and I wanted to do a summary really. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you, Nicole, what did you think of being on the back of the bike? Do you think it was comfortable? It was comfortable for probably about 15 minutes. Yeah. And then my bum went a little bit numb. The seat's very narrow, but it doesn't really fit my bum to be honest. Your bum's huge, isn't it, yeah, as well? So. <laughs> How did the bike feel when we were going around? the corners handling wise oh fine that was what that was really comfortable to the, say, yeah but not comfort wise but how did you feel did you think it was enjoyable did you find oh, yeah, it is enjoyable. was you confident on the back i'm always confident on the back that's because i'm riding isn't it oh, always <laughs> suspension wise yep absolutely fine isn't... when when you break a little bit or like changing gear you jolt a little bit more though yes so i find actually the throttles snatch isn't it yeah. so it's quite hard to be smooth on the bike there's a lot of engine braking so yeah. I did mention that on the way here, I do find you sliding back and forth quite a lot. So on a scale of 1 to 10, what do you rate being a passenger on the Tenere? I would, oh god, thing. sorry. <laughs> um, I would rate it an 8. That's, that's pretty quite, good. Yeah, that's quite high. And so for me carrying a pillion, I'm going to rate this nine out of ten. Oh. Yeah, because honestly I could hardly feel you on the back. The only time I could feel you on the back was under braking okay. and I, I think you could solve that. We're going to head off home now, we've got about 25 minutes to 30 minutes to get home. So I hope you enjoyed it, if you did let me know, drop a comment in the section below and I hope to see you on another one very soon. Thanks for watching, see you later.